Welcome back everyone to Learning Invitation. Today we're in statics and we're going to be solving problem 1.8. Okay, so it says represent each of the following combinations of units in the correct SI form using an appropriate prefix. And we got problem A, B, and C. Okay, so let's just start by looking at problem A. You're giving us a mega gram all over a millimeter. Okay, so what we're going to do is that we're going to take these prefixes the mega and the milli and we're going to convert them into their exponential form okay so for the mega it's going to be 10 to the positive 6 and the milli is 10 to the negative 3 and then we have the units which are grams and meters okay so now that we have it in this form when we have a basically a number here that says same base in the top and the bottom and we have it raised to a number what we can do since they're in a fraction is that basically we're going to take the same number we're going to subtract the one at the bottom from the one on top okay so basically in this case we got the 10 10 to the 6 then we're going to do minus and then the negative 3 you see so and then we write our units grams per meter and when we do that, we found out that this is 10 to the positive 9 grams per meter. Now, now that we have it in this exponential form, we're going to convert it back to its appropriate prefix. And for 10 to the positive 9, if you look at the book, at uh, the table in the book, that means that this is going to be a giga. So this is a gigagram per meter. And just like that, we found out the answer for problem A. So... Let's do problem B, where they're giving us a millinewton over a microsecond. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to convert those prefixes into the exponential form. For the milli, we got 10 to the negative 3. And for the micro, we got times 10 to the negative 6. The unit is newton per second. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to combine these two guys together. So we got 10 to the negative 3 minus minus 6. Okay. Newton per second. And when we do the addition of that, that will give me 10 to the positive 3. The reason for that is because this minus and this minus become a positive. So we end up with a negative 3 plus 6. So that's a positive 3. And we have newtons per second. And the last step is to convert this exponential form into a prefix. So for 10 to the positive 3 is a kilo. So we're going to have a kilonewton divided by seconds. Okay. And just like that, we also found out the solution for our problem B. Last but not least, we got our problem C where we have a micrometer times a mega. So we got mega grams. Okay, so if we convert that, we have 10 to the negative 6 times 10 to the positive 6. So the 10 to the negative 6 is for the micro for here, and positive 6 to our mega. And then the units we got is meters times grams. Okay, so as you can see, basically, these two will cancel out. And the reason why they cancel out is because, well, just like how we did it for our fraction, what we did is the number on top minus the number at the bottom. Well, it, since it's not a fraction but a multiplication, it's this minus becomes a positive. So we will end up having basically a 10 to the negative 6 plus 6. And that will give us a 10 to the positive 0. And 10 to the positive 0 is equal to 1. Now, we have, saying that I have 1 meter times gram, it's the same as saying, hey, this is just equal as meters times grams. All right? So, just like that, we need no prefix because it's just their regular. And that would be the solution for problem C. You may see that if your professor would like to convert these units instead of having it as meter times gram. This can also, an alternative, could be a 
kilogram times a millimeter. And the reason for that is because this is the same. Kilogram is 10 to the positive 3 and millimeter is 10 to the negative 3. So they cancel each other out. And the reason for that is because sometimes we like to display grams and rather than explaining grams, we like to into kilograms. However, I think that's not necessary in this case and I prefer to leave it as meters times gram. Okay, so just not a small heads up, but I hope you guys like this video. Please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.